Hey, if you're looking for instant curb appeal, I got a good one for you. We're gonna transform this place and we're going to do a design that isn't a typical style that you'll see on this channel. I'll give you out amazing tips, tell you how much it costs and send you on your way. But we're going to New York, let's go. Okay, so here's what I want you to lock on as the photoshopping is getting there. I noticed that these spiral junipers right by the door were really cool and I noticed that the style of this house is kind of that craftsman, almost Victorian style. So when you're dealing with Victorian, it really comes down to the planting and the beds. So here's the thing with a Victorian style. You're gonna have evergreens, you're going to have roses, hydrangeas, and little wispy pops, which could be lavender, as well as a focal point or two. That could be a sundial, that could be a bird bath, that could be an arbor if it's along the side of a house or in a back. So what motivated me and started on this landscaping was the architecture of the home and these junipers. By keeping those, all of a sudden, that's the vibe we wanted to go with. Clients said, hey, do your thing, you have free reign. I said, all right, Curb Appeal 101, here we go. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna have seasonal color, which is going to be with the hydrangeas. It's going to be with the roses. It's gonna be with those pops of lavender that you see over by that boulder. And for that winter interest, I wanna make sure we got evergreens in there. So we have boxwoods there. You see I'm dropping in a yellow rose, rose tree right here. I'm also gonna drop in some roses along the driveway and create depth in this design. Instead of having everything slapped up against the house, brought it all the way down and created all these cool curves for pockets where we can put in focal points. We got Rose of Sharon going over, separating the neighbor's yard. We got boulders with some lavender behind it. And then we're gonna put in even this sundial, which is a focal point right as you walk up to the door. Finally, you've got this little hook that's coming out. I said, why not put in a beautiful pink magnolia? So in that spring, you got these yellows and pinks and then the greens. And then in the winter time, you got the boulders and the evergreens that are gonna have that impact. So when there's snow on the ground, it's also gonna look good. Finally, let's balance everything out. Let's put something on the other side of the driveway as well that mimics the landscaping that we've got on the other side. By locking on the architecture, it set up the entire design. Client came to me and said, you know, I don't really know what, I just want it to look good, but I saw those evergreens, I saw those spiral junipers, right? And then I saw the high peaks of the roof line, Craftsman, Victorian, along that line. If you wanna create beautiful curb appeal and you got a house similar to this, the trick is, I would say curvy beds, lush landscape, sticking to some of those plants that we talked about, and then making sure that you've got spring through the winter interest so that it doesn't look bland and boring. If you wanna be featured on this channel, if you want a point perspective design like this, go in the links below. These are designs all over the country. I'd love to help you and possibly feature you on the YouTube channel if you're interested. This is Bobby K saying creation is everything, so go out and create. I'll see you in the next video.